Well, after serving the Brainerd community for the past 15 years, the Nutrition Assistance Program for Seniors is moving locations. Our Sarah Winkleman takes us to the new distribution site to see how the program is serving local seniors. There you go, thank you. Local seniors are driving away with a box full of free food. And then they'll put the box in the trunk for us, which is really good and handy. Thanks to the Nutrition Assistance Program for Low Income Seniors in Brainerd. I got it, yep. It's just that little extra that seniors can use because a lot of them with our medication and everything, it's expensive. So having something like this to look forward to every month and when you open, we get different vegetables and different fruits. So I really do like it. I think it's wonderful. Local seniors that participate in the NAPS program receive a 30 pound box of food once a month. They tend to rotate things so that they don't get the same thing every month. No, nope, you gotta get cheese, yep. Yeah. Volunteers serve numerous distribution sites in central Minnesota, including the newest location at the Sharing Bread Soup Kitchen. Well, it's fun. It's, yeah. um, we enjoy all the volunteers, we enjoy all the people that come in, and it's helping. And we like to help whenever we can. To help seniors who are 60 years of age and older, are a Minnesota resident, and are income eligible. When we see them at the distributions, they're always friendly and we get to know them and it, it, you develop a relationship with them and it's really satisfying. For volunteers and participants alike. Absolutely, as long as I can, I'll be here. Reporting in Brainerd, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. And that is the final story for Sarah Winkleman here on Lakeland News. Sarah is leaving us to take a job at WEAU-TV in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Sarah's done a tremendous job while with Lakeland News and we wish her the best as she moves along in her career. She will definitely be missed here at Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.